never, accept a Skype request from Vader. Finn, mourns death of comrade. Ten minutes later, gleefully murders other comrades. When Anakin becomes a Force ghost and all the other dead Jedi ask what the hell he was thinking. That wasn't me that was Vader. Key gone. You have been freed, you're no longer a slave. Anakin, wow. Thank you Key gone. Key gone. Lol, call me master. So how did it go? I don't want to talk about it. Hello. Hello and welcome back. So it's good to be back and I'm glad to be here showing you off what is going to happen in round two. I'll quickly go through what happened in round one and the reason why I couldn't upload a video. And for round two, hopefully I'll be able to edit all of this before the Formula One Austrian sprint race or sprint qualifying, whatever you want to call it nowadays on Saturday. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you're a Formula One fan, you'll know the... Uh, ins and outs and the pain that uh, you've, you've got to get everything sort of cleared off so that you can sit down and just uh, relax and watch that so let's see what happened in round one first off so as you can see the opponent beat me by 220 points exactly and he didn't get very far on my defenses thankfully my self wall held as you can see the self wall held the fleet all held as well, uh, pretty much. Um, very surprised about the Piet fleet, but he did take his Piet fleet on offense, so that's the main reason why uh, didn't hold. And the Kenobi fleet, I don't really know still what he used. I'm assuming he used his Rebels, and it didn't work. And what I'm really happy with is the Krennic lead actually coming in and really helping out my leftover Empire team, which sounds a bit odd to say, considering it's got Vader and Thrawn in the lineup but it really is the leftover at the moment and it managed to hold for two battles and then required him to clear on the third so really really good banner pinch in there so this is the opponent's front wall and as you can see i slightly mucked up on the bounty hunter battle basically beskar mando was doing his damage uh, and yeah damage immunity ability and that really slowed down my rebel cls team and then i just then had to clean up my first order basically just to get that all done and dusted for rebel fighters uh very very easy to deal with and yeah you didn't really miss much with the see battle i tried to uh, take it on but i couldn't do it rebel fighters again that was very nice and easy i used my imperial troopers the geonosians i used my sith triumphant and it failed and then i think i cleared it up with Imperial Troopers again because I think it was I managed to get it down to Geo Spy and Sunfac and unfortunately the Geo Spy being Relic 5 managed to uh, kill off my Sith Triumphant with those big big hits that he managed to pull off and uh, yeah that was the reason why that failed so not a very clean battle. Welcome to round two, and as you can see, the opponent has cleared the south and a little bit of the north. Uh, Krennic is standing strong again, so let's have a look at what Krennic has managed to do. <laughs> Fantastic work. So, four holds. So, my Empire teams have not been getting holds on defense since December uh, last year. That was in the old Grand Arena system before this new system, uh, which obviously loads of people are complaining about the matchmaking with and yeah it's good to see my empire being viable against again on defense 
this is my south wall and once again i really would have thought that the well at least the 501st would have done a bit better the sith vampire once again proving that it's an absolute fantastic defense team and the opponent hasn't touched the back wall so let's have a look at the opponent's defense here is the opponent's defense Let me figure out what teams I've got and I'll come back and do some battling. Right, so the plan is to try and clear all of this north wall first. So let's try and take out this lad there we go very very good and then we'll try and take out the next one there we go cool and then we'll take out this guy and then we'll then have to work on normal kylo because he does have the area of attack stuff which i don't want him passing around so or taking banners off at least if you know what i mean so it's going to take a while there we go thank god for that there we go fantastic i think he was only gear 11 anyway we'll do this Here we go, kill so shot, yes, yes it was, and I mispronounced shot as well, fantastic, 75 banners, that's all I needed for the opening round here, 75 banners, really, really good footing. Right, oh, it's still on one X, right, let's, let's just do this, we don't want the tank, that's okay, this is the benefit of not having to deal with the boss lead is that they're not healing up when they're doing debuffs on me and i think we've got boss out which is absolutely fantastic oh very very close um we really need to keep ability blocks off i think that might just be enough there we go it will um let's just take out bobber he's really really fast Um, okay, well, I was not expecting that to have happened. Not the best banners. Not the best banners at all, but we've got the win. 62 banners. It is what it is. Right, unconventional, but hopefully this will work. Let's... I think we can take out... There we go, we can. Um, we might be able to take him out in one go. There we go, we can. Um, let's do this. You can't do ability blocks on that. So, okay, let's. We've got to take out Quill. And then we'll try and do as much damage on Beskar Mando whilst he's in this stance. Oh, very, very close to taking them out. Very, very, very close. I hope he's not going to do. He won't. He won't have time. He won't have time. Fantastic. Okay, cool. And we can get around the healing. That's brilliant. Let's do this. And then I think this is just time wasting now. Right, let's uh, fast forward. Okay, well, that was much more efficient than I thought. I was thought we were going to be there for a while. 60 banners. Not the best, but we cleared it. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers, fingers crossed. I have no idea how this is going to work. I think this is... Oh, this is really, really bad. This is absolutely a dreadful beginning. Let's see whether we can at least take out 3PO and Chewie. We need to get all the goblins that we can get from them. Um, Really need to take this guy out. Come on, guys. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, we're so close. We are so, so close. I need Saviour on Joe Lee. Oh, I was so close to taking him out. Okay. 
we've sort of done it. We have sort of somehow done in this. Um, let's do this. Don't take out Joe Lee. Okay, you can take everyone else out, but not Joe Lee. We've managed to pull this off slightly, I think. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, fantastic. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Do anything. I can't do anything. That's okay. That's okay. That was okay. 59 banners. I'll take it. Let's move on. I have no idea what to expect from this, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, Aiden is a really good lead for this. Right, this is how drastic this situation has become. I'm hoping that my Sif Triumphant can get something done here. Let's do that. that that's all going to be very, very good. Let's do this. Okay, everyone's got a cooldown. The Iden Versio battle did not go well. It didn't achieve any of the goals that I wanted. Let's try and get Trey. Come on, Trey. Let's get in. Let's pass that over to um, Thingy Bob, Nihilus. Um, uh, yeah, he can't be revived. Fantastic, okay. He can't be revived. I think I did the right move in the end. I think I did the right move. Should have used this in, and then I would have had my Iden team for whatever's on the back wall. Um, well, I'm already getting ahead of myself. I haven't actually cleared anything yet, so hopefully this will be a clear. There we go, 34 banners. Absolutely fantastic. We managed to get it in the end. Right, we're going in on these guys here. Hopefully, it will be all going swimmingly smooth. Right, let's take out a Sarge at least. And then let's do this. Let's do that. That will definitely take out everybody. There we go, fantastic. Overkill. Unfortunately, the Iden team would have been absolutely perfect for that right there. That's very annoying. Right, well, we'll see what we can do against everything else, and then we'll go to the Geonosians last. Three-man team. Let's see what can happen here. Let's do this. Let's do that. Oh, actually. Oh, okay. This might not be as easy as I was thinking it would be. Uh, especially when you get the dodges like that. Right, they've done it, they've done it, they've done it, come on. There we go, we've done it. We've done it now. Oh, that was, that was very, very close. A lot of dodges. Yep, 67. I'll take that. Escar Mando coming in. Let's do this. Um, I don't want to do a big hit right now. I want this. There we go. I've got to readjust all the mods. I need Escar Mando to come in much sooner than that. L3 is really, really a turn meter machine here. Right. 
Let's do that. Um, can I focus anyone down? I don't know, but we'll do this. And we've cleared the team. Fantastic, 62 banners. Very, very happy with that. This seems like overkill, because it is. Let's go in, come on. We can do this. Oh, timing is really, really bad there. Really, really bad. Okay, let's see whether we can do this. We can definitely do that. Okay, best got Mando. Ooh, should have taunted. Hindsight is everything. Hindsight is everything. I really... Yeah, I don't know why that was... That was so, so close. So, so close. Okay, right. Well, we're doing this. 1x. There we go. It's all working out. There we go. It's almost like I had an idea of what to do. There we go. Fantastic. 62, not perfect, but is enough. And there we go. We've got all the character battles all cleared. Let's go into the fleet battle. Let's see what we can pull off. Right, so this is going to be very difficult. But this should be nice and easy. Let's go and do this one, and then I think we'll call it a day. Oh, they're going to take out Vader. They're going to try and take out Vader, I'm pretty sure of that. Let's... Well, let's do this. Um, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Let's heal up. Okay, come on. Let's do this. We can take out... We can take out Han now. No, we can't. There's a sudden, sudden taunt and it's all going pear-shaped. That's really, really annoying. Really, really annoying. Those taunts came up at just the wrong time. And it looks like we've missed their opportunity. They're, they're going to, yeah, take take out the Tide Bomber. And then that's it. That's game over. That's very, very annoying. That's not happened to me for a very long time. Unfortunate how that's ended, um, but it is still a fantastic day, fantastic, hopeful win just by the character battles. Not slipped up too much like the opponent, but I have slipped up on the fleet battles, which is it's really letting me down, and I don't know why. Um, the rebel fleet, when my when I use my rebel fleet, I get on getting dodged. When I face the opponent rebel fleet, then. I just get all that turn meter and all those lucky taunts. Yeah, very, very, very close. Very annoying. Just to be unfortunate if I can really finish off that fleet battle. Again, very lucky with character battles. A lot of positives. Um, the General Grievous battle was very, very scary. Um, definitely should have used the Sith Triumphant instead of the Imperial Troopers. Um, a lot to take away. A lot of good, good stuff. A lot of bad stuff. Unfortunately, came down to RNG. It will be very interesting to see whether the opponent tries to attack or not. At the moment, 1176 is a pretty good banner mark to have at this point. It's going to be very difficult to clear and to beat that score, um, especially with the opponent having that many losses. Fingers crossed, I actually have this in the bag. Thank you for watching and just uh, remember to leave a like and a comment if you've enjoyed um, and or if you've noticed anything that I did incorrectly or did well. 
Um, obviously, we've all got to try and learn what teams counter what and also what moves we need to be doing at certain points. Definitely that Geon Ocean one I should have taunted at one point instead of using the Swarm. But it's all a learning curve and managed to get the win in the end, but it could have been much better. So those sort of points I don't mind having in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching again and I'll see you next time. So until then, may the force be with you, always. Goodbye.